Crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me today for another Inspiration Friday. So glad you stopped by my channel. I can't wait to share with you this week's Inspiration Friday project. This week, I am gonna be doing a paper craft and I have not done a paper craft for quite some time. So I had lots of fun getting some of my old scrapbook paper out and making these cute little post-it notes. These are perfect for the holiday gift giving season. So can't wait to show you this tutorial. But before we get making, I've got to thank you for stopping by my channel. I appreciate it every time you guys view one of my tutorials. It supports my channel and my channel is all about inspiring you guys to try something new, to create something new. So give me a second, I'm gonna get my camera angle changed and we are gonna get making these cute post-it note holders. So let's get started making these cute post-it note holders. I just absolutely love these as a um, gift for um, your favorite teacher. Um, kids love these, um, giving them for presents to parents. I use mine all the time. So I wanna show you what you need for this project and it is really basic. So it is so fun to find different um, pads of paper um, at Joann's. In fact, I was just over at Joann's this morning. They had a doorbuster sale um, and these are normally, it says $19.99. I got this pad for $5.99 on their doorbuster. And the fun thing I like about using these pads is a lot of times they've got some really cute sayings. So I'm going to use one of these sayings um, and there's just all kinds of different beautiful colors out there. And so I've actually picked out two that I'm gonna make some with and, and I'll just make one um, to show you guys and then I'm just gonna keep making these because I just think they're so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this, um, this flower print that I just absolutely love. And I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm gonna grab a saying out that I just um, think would be really cute with this flower one. And I think I'm gonna go with the, it's all good, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just, right now I'm just gonna cut it out of the pad and then we're going to actually shape it for our pad in just a minute. So what you're gonna want to have on hand um, for this project is, definitely your paper. And again, I'm using Park Lane Wild Style. Um, it's 48 sheets um, and it um, has got a purple foil and I thought that was really pretty when I was looking at it today. And then of course, I'm gonna need a paper cutter. Um, I'm going to be using my scoring board and I'll show you how we're gonna be using that. And then you're gonna need some type of adhesive dot. Now I've picked up these hook and loop um, dots um, from Amazon and then I've also got some mini ones that are actual Velcro um, that I had on hand. And then um, you're gonna wanna use a tape runner. So that's basically what we need for this project. So let's go ahead and just get started and I'll show you how quick and easy these come together. Okay, so before we start cutting, one of the things you wanna think about is if your design has a direction at all, okay? Because the piece of paper we're gonna be cutting is gonna be three and a quarter by eight and a quarter, okay? So the eight is gonna be the long direction. So if you think about this, this is my done one that I have. It is eight and a quarter, okay? So I wanna make sure that that is cut in this direction. If you've got a non-directional um, piece of paper, you're perfectly fine how, however you want to do it, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is I want to cut my three and a half inches going this direction, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my paper cutter. If I can get it in here straight, Lisa. Okay, so I want to go three and a quarter. Okay, my paper is a little bit bigger than that, but that's okay. Okay, so I've got my three and a quarter, okay? And then I want to go eight and a quarter. Okay, so I'm just gonna go eight and a quarter right there. And I am going to cut it, okay? So this is what we're left with. We're gonna use this. Now, you guys, this is a great project that you can get three 
of these post-it holders out of one piece of paper along with some extra little cuts that you can use for other other projects so the next thing we want to do is we're going to use our scoring board okay now the scoring board or is going to be scored at one and a half inches two five and five and a half okay now I like to score upside down on my paper okay so I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to score at one and a half at two at five and at five and a half okay so then what I'm going to do is we're done with our scoring board and then what I'm going to do is I like to take <coughs> my paper and really press it very well okay and you can use your tool that you did your scoring with if you want okay and then we basically got the starting of our project okay now one tool I didn't tell you at the very beginning that I absolutely love to use is my we are memory keepers crocodile corner chopper Okay, and it has got a half inch and a quarter inch. And I like to take the half inch side and just round off these edges. I just think it gives a nice finish to the paper. Then what we wanna do is we wanna pick a post-it note that matches, and that's fun, part of the fun going through and looking at your papers and seeing what post-it notes you have. So what I want to do now is I want to add my post-it note to the back, okay? So what I like to do is I like to use adhesive to make sure it's going to stay in there real well. So I just put my tape runner in there and then I am going to place it right below the second um, fold that we have, okay? So it's going to fold right over and it's going to close just like that. Okay, so next thing we want to do is we want to add in our adhesive dots. Now, there's two sides to these, and so I always like to place one down right in the middle, okay? And then the opposite side, what I like to do is instead of trying to measure it up, I like to put it right on top of the other one, okay? And then I close it, and I press it to secure it, okay? So then, you have got it right where you want it. So the last thing we have to do, you guys, and I told you this project comes together so quick, is we have got our cute little saying. And I went with it's all good. So I'm gonna cut down that saying so it's gonna fit. And if we measure what our cover part is that has room for a saying, it is right at two and a half inches, okay? So if I go ahead and just trim this up, and I'm just gonna trim it as close as I can. I really would like to keep as much as those flowers in as I can. So let's see, I haven't done this one before since this is a brand new pad. Let's see what that measures out at. So that's gonna come out a little bit bigger than two and a half, okay? So we're going to go ahead and just trim it just a little bit more. I'm just going to use my scissors to eyeball. And I'm going to have to cut those flowers just a little bit. Okay. Then what I like to do is I like to take my crop, crop, ah, crop a dial chopper. And I like to use my half inch again. And I like to round all those edges. Again, I just think it gives such a nice, cute finish um, to it. And then that is going to fit right on there just perfect. So I'm going to use my tape runner again. And I'm just going to add some tape. And we are going to add our little saying. And how cute is that, you guys? So I have made so many of these. I'm actually taking them down to our little shop. Um, if you guys have watched any of my other tutorials, I have... Um, mentioned ish our um, crafter shop that we have in town and I've just been having so much fun um, making these now I did find um, one person on YouTube that I um, had seen was putting these together and she had su suggested some really cute clear bags to use um, and so I have picked these up and if you package these 
Um, I put these on a bazaar um, two years ago, sold them just for three bucks. They're very inexpensive to make, they're fun to make, but for three bucks, you package it like this, and this packaging looks like it could go straight in a little boutique. So um, lots of fun. So if you guys are looking for something to make for a crafting project um, that you want to put on a bazaar, or you're just looking for cute stocking stuffers, um, gifts for teachers, like I say, I absolutely love using mine. I've got mine sitting around for all kinds of little notes, um, and they're just lots of fun to do. So hope you enjoyed um, this project. Thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. I hope you enjoyed this project, making post-it note holders and the step-by-step -step video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. If you have any questions, please add a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for other DIY projects.